As a thank you to everyone for your support, we will send you a autograph. But a lot of people get into the how and they get overwhelmed by the process, don't know where to start. It could be a diet, it could be a workout, it could be investing in a business, you name it. You wanna make sure the business has systems in place. You wanna make sure the business doesn't rely on you 100% of the time and that you're putting in so many hours a week. Welcome to the Franchise Freedom Podcast, where you can escape the corporate trap through franchise ownership. Here's your host, Giuseppe Gramatico, The Franchise Guide. Welcome to the Franchise Freedom Podcast. I'm your host, Giuseppe Gramatico, your Franchise Guide, the show where we help corporate execs experience time and financial freedom via franchising. Uh, really excited. Today is episode uh, or show number 200. Uh, really excited. Uh, we've made it. Uh, fun little fact, we we started, um, I think it was uh, about end of January of, of 2020, so right before COVID really hit, and uh, it's been four years. Four years, uh, 200 episodes. We've probably been on about 100 uh, other guest appearances on other podcast episodes, and just really excited. I wanted to create a special show for today. I was really kind of thinking of a topic, and I said, why not kind of go back and look at the previous episodes and really good kind of go through kind of t- uh, key takeaways and we'll call today uh, today's episode five key takeaways from 200 episodes uh, in the podcast world so um, I also uh, want another fun fact we actually just started with audio in the very beginning so it wasn't until the first couple dozen episodes is when we started adding video so if you go back and Take a look at the show. You don't see those those first videos available on YouTube. Everything is is right on the uh, on the main website. So thanks for joining us today. So today I wanted to cover really five key takeaways from 200 episodes of the Franchise Freedom Podcast. Um, another fun fact, actually, from those first couple episodes, we were able to write a book. So our our book, uh, same title, Franchise Freedom: A New Manifesto for Your Financial and Time Freedom, uh, was actually created. Uh, from those first uh, five or so episodes that we created. So we decided to transcribe them at a copywriter uh, and put together that book, which is uh, a quick read. And we'll talk about more that, uh, about the book later. So key takeaway number one, and this is something that um, I use and, and it was a key you know, concept or, or topic, I, sh- I should say, that a lot of our guests would talk about is that you know, in decision making, right? And this is just decision making in general, whether you're looking at a franchise or looking to buy a home, an investment, any type of decision, uh, really kind of start with the end in mind, you know, really figuring out what is, what is that, that end goal uh, and then figuring out you know, who, who can help me get there, um, you know, before the how. You really want to leverage people's experiences and, and, and helping you get there. Uh, we did a show, uh, top, three to, uh, uh, top Three Ways to Make a Decision in Life and in Business that we'll post here, uh, which talks about this, this topic in greater detail. We also had a, a really good show with Kyle Andrews from Patrice and & Associates. Uh, we helped uh, Kyle a few years back uh, find and invest in a uh, recruitment, uh, uh, executive recruitment ty- uh, type of franchise. Uh, we'll put his show on there. Uh, it was entitled Employee to Employ- uh, Employer, the story of Kyle Andrews. Uh, so we'll put that on there. It was really exciting, kind of talking about, you know, working with him, had that end in mind, what he was looking to accomplish, and then discussing really the the various vehicles to, to, to get you there. Um, the second, you know, topic that we talked about, which is in relation here to the first is, you know, with the end in mind, a lot of people get into the how and they get overwhelmed by the process, don't know where to start. And many people uh, just don't start at all. It could be a diet, it could be a workout, it could be investing in a business, it could be changing jobs, uh, you name it. So, you know, seeking professional advice was was the key takeaway. Um, You know, we had a great show with uh, my good friend, Henry Lopez. We've been on each other's shows for a while. um, And that was entitled Helping You Start uh, grow, run your small business. Uh, we'll put that in the, in the show notes here, but, um, Henry's great business coach, um, has been a franchisee helps others, uh, you know, in the business coaching side, startup franchise, you name it. Um, you know, seeking advice from, from a professional that's owned businesses. Uh, we've had Tara Thomas from Fran fund, uh, talking about, you know, what are my funding options to purchase a franchise again, professionals that, can really help you figure out 
Um, you know, if the if, if the funding is there and what are the options, great. But if the options aren't there, what is that plan of attack in order to get approved? Because obviously, in order to make a decision, everything has to kind of fall in line. So if you got four out of five things and that last thing is funding, let, let, let's focus and double down. Um, followed by, I had a, a great show at Houston Barnes where we talked about the franchise disclosure document. Houston, uh, you know, his, his primary role is really reviewing franchise disclosure documents, working with uh, potential franchisees, again, you know, seeking pro professional advice and, and helping you in that, in that decision, letting you know if there's any issues or questions and, 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 and things like that. So uh, that was another great episode we did amongst others. You know, I would love to, to touch on all the episodes. There's just not enough time today, but I uh, wanted to touch on those and I'll put all those in the show notes here in the show. Another uh, really popular kind of thing, you know, when I'm kind of theme when I'm going through the shows was, you know, life is, is about the journey. And this is something that sometimes, you know, I, I lose track of. You start getting really, you know, it's the journey, not the destination. And just thinking about, okay, what's the end goal? What's the end goal? And not enjoying, you know, that, that journey, that process. So uh, I'm guilty of it as well. Uh, we had two great guests. Dave Moskowitz um, was on the show. Richard DiBiase it was called Two New Entrepreneurs Talk About Their First Year in Business. One of our top uh, downloaded uh, episodes on Buzzsprout uh, today, uh, which is great. We actually revisited the show. Uh, so it's been listed twice. Um, and you can you can catch that on iTunes or, or YouTube or we'll put the link in here. But they talked about, you know, the, the journey from, you know, police officers to franchise owners. Uh, to podcast hosts and talking about the journey, talking about, you know, uh, you know, le leaving, le leaving Canada to open a, a business in the States with Richard DiBiase, which, which is actually more of a recent uh, conversation we had, uh, which we'll talk about and probably have him back on the show. But um, yeah, some, some really good stuff, just talking about that journey, enjoying it uh, and some you know, life lessons learned along the way. Mindset and experience is key. That would be key takeaway number four. Uh, you know, one of the things that we had talked about going back to who, uh, you know, who to ask for help uh, versus the how is being very careful of who we're asking. And, and I'm guilty of this uh, for advice, you know, asking uh, for business advice for someone that maybe never owned the business. Uh, so being very careful, talking to people that have done this before, seeking advice from people that uh, not only do you find successful and look up to, but their goals are aligned to yours. Uh, as well. Um, you know, some people are looking not to, to make, uh, you know, tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. They're looking for financial freedom, but more impo important, that time freedom to, to be home every night, to be able to, to go to the soccer games, the dance recitals and the, and the Girl Scouts uh, events and all that kind of stuff. So um, we've had some really good, we had uh, Tracy uh, Trapeski uh, talking about the importance of mindset as well, you know, really going into this as, as opposed to, okay, how, how am I going to go about uh, my journey of, of finding that business, you know, with the, with the end in mind? And the mindset is, is absolutely key. You know, I used to have a scarcity mindset, and we talked about that with Tracy, uh, which is now more of an abundance, uh, you know, a mindset, that, that scarcity mindset, you know, not enough people to talk to, not enough people interested in, in uh, you know, past experiences. I was in the investment world or now in the franchise world. Uh, to more of an abundance. There, there's plenty to go, uh, to go around more, more than enough to, to keep everyone busy. And that's, that's crucial when, especially when owning a business, kind of trying to figure out the next steps, what to do in the business, what other businesses to invest in. So, um, you know, mindset and experience are key. Um, and then the last is, and this is a, a, a good friend of mine and we've gotten really close over the years, Rocky Lalvani from profit first is pay yourself first. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we want the, the business to, as, as this vehicle to create a lot of things. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you, you need to you need to make some money. Right. This this is a, there's a profit center here. Rocky talks about paying yourself first, uh, you know, not, you know, basically revenue, you know, paying your all your expenses and keeping what's left. But really paying paying yourself first. Right. Getting, you know, paying yourself a, a fair salary, because like just like any other business, there's always going to be things you can spend money on. So he breaks it into multiple buckets. That has been a game changer for me. Uh, as someone that comes from the investment and finance world really never was uh, exposed to this, but really breaking it down so that every quarter you can even do it every month. You know exactly the taxes that you owe, or I should say the estimates 
you know, how much you're putting aside towards marketing? Is it 10%? Great. Do you have, you know, have you gone over? Are you, are you under, you know, what does that look like? And making sure you pay yourself because as I mentioned, there's always shiny new objects and services and things we, we can, uh, you know, pay for. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we do have to make a profit in order to stay afloat and, and pay our, our, our bills and expenses. Uh, followed by a, a really popular episode and an, an episode that I refer to quite a few people, another good friend of mine, David C. Barnett, uh, on exit strategies. And, and David's been a, a broker. David's a, a consultant, a coach, you know, helping people turn their business around, getting and you know, helping people sell their businesses uh, and talking about exit strategies. And the key takeaway uh, in, in this area is basically you don't, uh, you know, start deciding, you know, a month or two before selling the business, that, that's when you prepare, you actually prepare day one, you want to make sure the business has systems in place, you want to make sure the business doesn't rely on you 100% of the time and that you're putting in so many hours a week, because in order to sell it, you know, that buyer, or that investor in the business is going to want to take over the systems in place, they, they may not want to put in that time. And, and if, if that's not the case, and that previous owner had put in the time, they're going to have to you know, remove some of the earnings in order to replace that with a manager or a general manager to run the day to day. So David does a really good job talking about, you know, you buy the business, you get it up and running. That's when you start preparing for the exit strategy, you know, from things like watching the expenses to your role in the business, systematizing and automating where you can, uh, again, so you don't uh, have to be involved a hundred percent of the time in the business, but also you don't become a bottleneck in the business. And that was a key takeaway that was combined with, with profit first and exit strategies. Um, some really good stuff there. And as I mentioned, 200 episodes that we've done, we revisited a dozen or so um, and uh, just had a great time and going to continue with this. We're talking about maybe in the next year or two, writing a, a second version of the book, Franchise Freedom. And I'm open to suggestions and ideas. So if you guys are, are looking for a topic or an idea, would love to, uh, to create a brand new show. I wanted to thank everyone for their support. You know, without your support, this show wouldn't be here. And, uh, you know, we, we put the content out there to answer your questions. Sometimes uh, someone may contact me. I'll refer them to a show. You know, we're breaking things up with shorts and things like that. But if you want to go a little bit deeper, the shows go deeper on the various topics. And uh, you can, you know, obviously watch those videos as you see fit on your own time. And always reach out. I'm a phone call away. Our services are free to you. We're, we're, we're paid by the franchise company. So there's never a cost for our service. So even if you're not certain of the timing or certain about the financials, we can definitely have a chat. We do a 20 minute call with anyone that is interested. And we put together a game plan and say, okay, maybe the timing isn't right due to financials or the timing isn't right due to time. You got a lot of personal stuff going through a brand new job and you're traveling, that's fine. We put together a plan and we revisit, you know, every so many months. So um, again, here to help. And, you know, I, I want to, I want to, you know, as a thank you to everyone for your support, want to give everyone a, you know, a copy. First 50 people that respond and message me with the word book. Um, actually, better yet, franchise freedom. So anyone that responds with franchise freedom, um, we will send you a uh, autograph book. So send us a message. We'll, we'll, uh, We'll, uh, and, and in an email, we'll, we'll reach out to you, get your address. We'll mail you a hard copy of the book, autographed by uh, uh, by myself. And uh, for the first top, for the first 50 people that that send us franchise freedom, so you can message on any of the platforms that you're seeing the show: YouTube, Instagram, uh, what is it, X, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok. Uh, we're on on just about everything, or even on the website, on the blog. Uh, first 50 people, Franchise Freedom, will get you a hard copy signed for myself and uh, follow up if you have any questions on the book or just in business in general, be more than glad to help everyone out. So very excited. Thanks again for your support. Thank you again uh, for all your questions. Again, without your questions, which is a big chunk of the show is addressing questions and concerns. This show um, probably wouldn't hit 200, show, uh, 200 episodes. So uh, thank you very much. Looking forward to the next 200 and let me know if there's a topic we have not covered. I'm revisiting some older topics as I realize, you know, 200 is a lot to go through. So we may revisit some topics. We're covering things such as uh, franchise myths, um, things that uh, you get with the franchise that uh, you may not have thought of. We talk about um, just about everything, you know, kind of, you know, along the lines, you know, what I look for in a franchise when I started my journey 20 years ago 
and how that that's different today. And, and a little teaser, not much of a difference, but we talk about key characteristics, the exact same things that I did to find my franchise. You can follow the exact same process. Uh, so we're going to outline that for you. So guys, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're an open book, ask away. We, we would love to help. And, um, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll, we'll answer one of your questions or maybe have you on the show. If you'd like to be on the show, send us a message. And if it's a good fit, we'll uh, definitely invite you on the show again. Thanks again. Um, big 200 looking forward to another two, uh, hundred episodes and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to learn how to make the transition from corporate to owning your franchise, join Giuseppe on the next episode. You can also follow on all social media platforms and achieve financial and time freedom today.